here we are changing the circuit board on a Carver 4000 fan master which is not working correctly as you can see the board itself this has got play in it so we've got a new one there look so what you have to do if you can see these little washers on the end look you have to slowly remove them which is quite fiddly but doable but you can also break it as you can see from that one I've took a slight bit off the top on the left this one here so what you have to do is get your flat blade flat bladed screwdriver and slowly prise it on the sides and lift the washer off so as you start to prise it off you can see it's coming loose can't hold the camera and record at the same time it's a bit awkward as you can see it's starting to come away a little bit now look and once it's off you'll see these are no good so you, when you buy this online I think this was like £23 they come with new ones anyway so you don't have to worry about breaking them too much it's more the pins that you're taking them off that you've got to be aware of don't break them so once you've got it loose it's more or less at the top you should be able to just wiggle it off it should pull away or just grab it with some pliers or again just flick it off you just got to be careful okay so you've got all them off there should be six of those in total next thing you've got to do is go around the edges prising the edge up like so all the way around be careful because obviously it's old these are a bit rusty so they're not not come off very well but once you've got all the sides up you should just lift off ok so I've loosened it all the way around now just simply remove it and as you can see it's, you've now got the new board and you've also got this now these terminals do say it's a good idea just to run your finger over it give it a blow make sure there's no muck or anything in it which will stop it working don't use any chemicals on it or anything like that because you will mess it up now if you compare the two as you can see this is the old board none of the LEDs were working whatsoever and that's the new one just to check once it's not blurred just to check make sure it's exactly the same you've ordered the right part there's nothing look any different on it and then it's just a simple case of putting that back onto the top of the the unit itself making sure you put it the right way around which is obvious now there's only one way of fitting this because you've got your two pins in the middle and it won't go the other way because the holes should be there so you, you can't really mess that up but once that's now in place you don't have to put any pressure on it it should just sit there nice and flush all you have to do is put your new clips which you should come with it you stick them over the top of the holes which I'll show you now